Hey guys, welcome back. So, really excited today. I'm starting a new series here on my channel and I'm calling it my dating horror stories. They're gonna be like more story time as type of videos where I just sit down, very chill, and just talk about my dating experiences in the past. Um, most of them not so good, um, hence the horror story title, but enough time has passed where I feel like it's just more so funny now and just a fun experience that I can share with you guys and hopefully um, it can teach you something and maybe prevent you from making the same mistakes that I did when I was a little bit younger. I feel like it's important since this is the first video in the series to kind of just disclose a little bit about like where I was at in this point in my life, like how old was I, and just like a little bit of the background information. So most of these stories happened when I was either 17, 18, possibly 19. I'm currently 22, about to be 23. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting older and older by the day. It's crazy, I swear, once you graduate high school, the years just fly. So when I was 17, 18, 19, I was definitely going through it. I was going on a ton of dates, just meeting a ton of people, and I've been on my fair share of bad dates, and most of them bad, um, actually. None of them think about a lot of them were bad. So I have a lot of stories to share, so this is definitely gonna be a fun, um, big series here on my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos, and let me know in the comments down below what you would love to see here on my channel in the future. Back to the background, though. So this story I'm gonna be sharing today, I was 17 years old, about to turn 18. It was my senior year of high school. Crazy. And this is definitely one of my more, I think, looking back fun stories to talk about and share just because of the situation and just how mature I thought I was at the time and now looking back how not mature I know I was at the time. I had just gone out of a very serious relationship. It was one of those like on and off relationships, but this was like the first time that I was single for a long time and I think he had just got his first girlfriend since dating me for so long and so I was going through it. I was like you know, in my whole like depressed mode. I don't think my parents had ever seen me that sad in my life. And I was just ready to put myself out there, probably for the wrong reason, just cause I was like sad and upset and jealous. Yeah, it makes for good stories. So here we are. So this story has to do with the time I dated my car salesman. You heard it right my car salesman. So it was my senior year of high school. I was grateful that my parents had actually passed down to me a four-door silver cord as my first car. I just got my license like prior to the start of my senior year. My mom was in the market to get a new car and she wanted a Honda. Um, she had just had the Honda and she loved it. So I think she was in the Honda dealership just kind of like scouting out what car she was probably going to purchase. And I think in that short amount of time, she realized that she wanted her original car back, that she loved it so much, the one that she had passed down to me. And so I was at the time in Target with my dad grocery shopping and it was like right across the street from the Honda dealership. So we just crossed the street to go meet her in there and see like what she was doing. And we walked in there, we walked to the back of the dealership and there she was sitting across from this like really cute blonde guy I remember it was like winter, like deep in winter up in New York and this guy had on like the cutest like professional like coat and it was just, it was a look, like he was layering and I just, uh, I love fashion, especially at the time, so I was into it, I love blondes, blue eyed, like definitely my type and this was like the first person that I had been interested in dating since being single so it was definitely a big thing and I remember my mom was like concerned about how sad and depressed I was at the time so anyway, I think at the time like I sat down my dad was there my mom was already talking to him and I'm pretty sure she was kind of giving me that look like you know like let's let's see where this goes and anyway so in the process of all this going on my mom decided she wanted her car back and that we were there for me to get a car so um, now I walk in there I'm like totally blindsided I'm like oh okay cool like I get to pick a car I mean I'm like 17 years old like who doesn't want to do that so I remember um, my parents and I and then he also walked outside I remember there's like snow on the ground it's freezing cold we're looking at the cars I um, he shows me the two-door cords which I had a four-door so he was showing me the two-door and I just fell in love I loved how sporty it was um, I just loved the look of it and he actually said he had one so I was like oh cool like that's cool I want one you know what I mean when you're young I mean you just fall into those things so he showed me the car and I fell in love with it and then we ended up like buying the car like right then and there or at the time we leased it and by the way I still have this car um, so it's funny every time I look at it I'm like oh yeah 
I'm pretty sure we just like walked out that day and get like a number or anything like that Yeah, so that happened and then my mom was like he was cute wasn't he like you should ask for his number da, 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 da. I was like mom. He's probably like super old like you know when you're young and whatever So I remember we weren't allowed to take home the car for like a week or something I can't remember why but we just weren't able to take it off the lot and so a week was you know going by and I was thinking so much about him I'm like I should get his number or should I like stalk him you know what like when you're young and you're like stalking your boys you know stuff but I couldn't find him on anything and I didn't really know his full name I'm pretty sure so it was hard and then I had this great idea I told one of my best friends who I'm still friends with and if she's watching this she'll remember this story to this day during our lunch in high school I was like oh my gosh we should go see the car aka the guy the car salesman so she was like oh my gosh yes and mind you it was like snowing so hard like it was quote unquote almost a blizzard and we drove to the car place. We didn't like have a ton of time, by the way, because it wasn't too far, but it, like, we didn't have a ton of time to just like leisurely go. So we get there, we park, I walk in, the guy at the front desk, like I think they had all been joking that I was like into him, um, but now they really knew after the story I'm about to tell you. So we walk in there, me and her, we're just like these two little girls. It's like super, super snowing out. And we're like, yeah, like, is Will here? And by the way, I remembered his first name. I didn't know his last name. So um, he's all the way in the back. And then they walk me over. And then Will comes out in his coat. And I'm like, do you mind if I show my friend my car? I'm probably sounding like a child at this point. I had no idea I did. But at the t but now I'm talking about it. I'm like, I sound like a child. So he takes us outside in the blizzard to show me the car that I was about to take off the lot like in a couple of days. And, you know, the whole idea of this was not really for the car. It was really just to see Will. And my friend's like giggling the whole time and then here we go my friend slips and falls on the ice and will picks her up and it was just like the most precious moment I was like oh my gosh she's such a gentleman and yeah so I'll never forget that he picked her up and it was just like a really weird encounter he showed us the car and then we just pretty much left and then fast forward about like two or three days later my dad decides to take me to go get the car one night so I remember it was late at night and we're like signing the last you know bits of paperwork sitting in the car and then the car salesman comes in the car my dad's out of the car I'm like great this is the perfect opportunity to like ask for his number and mind you like I remember leading up to this day I was like asking all my friends like, how do I go about this? Like, what do I say? I don't want to sound like a little kid. Mind you, he probably thinks I'm a little kid, like, with the way I went about this whole story. So he's sitting in the passenger seat next to me, and he's, you know, telling me, you know, bits and pieces about the car and just, like, how to get it serviced and things like that. And I remember I had this line, like, I was ready to just say it. And I was like, oh, well, do you have, like, a number or a card I can call if I ever have any questions? And I remember he whipped out his business card. In my head, I was so excited. And anyway, so... That happened, so I got his card, left with the car, and now I have his card, and I'm like super excited, but then I realized it's just like his work number, it's not even like his cell phone number on there, so I was like, oh well, what was the point of that? So now fast forward, like maybe even, maybe not even a day, I mean back then I was like, I was on it like if I wanted something I just went for it so I remember I was with my friend and I like found him on Facebook and I was like I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it so I added him and I was like hey Will I'm the girl from that just bought a car from you um, I don't remember exactly what I said but I'm pretty sure I was just like hey and he was like oh hey how what's up and then from there the rest is history no just kidding but yeah I think we exchanged numbers on Facebook he's probably a little creeped out that I found him because I obviously stalked him but I figured it would be alright because I had like his full name on the card so I was able to find him. And then from there we went on a date. So our first date, I kid you not, was the day before Valentine's Day and I remember he picked me up and we went and we saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Or maybe it was the day after Valentine's Day, I can't remember exactly but it wasn't on Valentine's Day. And it was just so awkward, I don't think he had any idea what the movie was about and it was a very uncomfortable movie to watch. And not only that, but there were so many just like older women there, like old ladies watching this movie. It was just such a weird, it was a weird thing. And he was really cool, like I remember he got me like candy and all that stuff. And then after the movie was over, I can't remember if we like got dinner. I, we might have gotten dinner or something, but yeah, I just felt so cool. Like I was on a date with like an older guy and at the time technically like wasn't even legal I'm pretty sure like he was 21 and I was 17 about to turn 18 but yeah I just felt like such a badass I was, I was thinking like I have an older boyfriend I'm so cool the whole thing that this story is gonna get to was 
I was so excited because it was my senior year and all I wanted was just to take an older guy to prom. Like that was my mission, that's what I wanted to do. And so I just remember I was like thinking about it this whole time and we had continued to talk and like I would go see him sometimes like after school because he would work not far from there. And I remember we like, we went on a couple of dates. I'll never forget, we went one time to the mall. He had to get some clothes for work or something. And I was like, this is the day I'm gonna ask him out to prom. So excited, and he shut me down. Yeah, he said no, and I just remember I was devastated. I was so pissed off. I did not see it coming. He was like super embarrassed. He's like, I'm not going to prom with you. Like, I'm technically like underage, and all these things. Or he was like, you're technically underage, which now like looking back, it totally makes sense. But like in the moment, I was so in my head about it. I was like. How could he say no to me? So yeah, so then that happened. I ended up going to prom with my best friend, so everything was fine. Um, but it's crazy. So like fast forward now, like a year later, I had moved to Florida. I graduated high school. I was like in college and I found out that he somehow ended up in South Florida. Like he moved there. I also found out like a year later that he had a girlfriend around the time that we started talking. So like when we went on those dates, the reason why we didn't go see 50 Shades of Grey on Valentine's Day was because he had a girlfriend. And so it all made sense. And I think my mom even warned me at one point that like, it's weird that he's not taking out on Valentine's Day. Mom are usually right but yeah it's funny now like talking about it because my mom's always like I knew he was bad for you like da, da, da. but I'm like mom you were like low-key the one that technically set us up I just think it's a funny story and like I remember at the time I thought I was so mature I was like I'm dating this older guy I'm like so cool he's gonna go to prom with me it's gonna be the most amazing thing in the world and not at all like that so that's the time I dated my car salesman so long for now and I'll talk to you guys in my next video